everyone, this is teacher Morris and today's video we will discuss about orcs and inscribe angles. So we have here a um, term related to circle which are the inscribe angle and intercepted arc which our topic for today. So we have here the diagram and its discussion. So, inscribe angle is uh, an angle which vertex is on the circle and sides contain curves of the circle. Example, angle CAB is the inscribed angle of the figure. The intercepted arc is the arc that lies in the interior of an inscribed angle and has endpoints of the angle. Example, arc BC is the intercepted arc of the inscribed angle, angle CAB. So we have here theorems on inscribed angle. So we have here theorem number one. The measure of the inscribed angle is equal to one half of its intercepted arc or the measure of the intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Example, angle MAP is an inscribed angle and intercepts arc MP. So, arc uh, angle MAP is equal to one half times arc MP. So, find the value of, example, find the value of arc PEN. Our angle PEN, if angle PEN is an inscribed angle and intercepts arc PN. So, solution, angle PEN is equal to one half times PN. So, we have to substitute the value for PN which is 86 and one half of 86 is 43. So, angle PEN is equals to 43 degree. Therefore, angle PEN is 40 degree. 43 degree. We have here theorem number 2. If two inscribed angles of a circle intercept the same arc, then the angles are congruent. Example, uh, angle RAK and angle RMK both intercept arc R, RK. Thus, angle RAK is congruent to angle RMK. So, example, find the measure of angle in IA. Solution. So, angle NIE is congruent to angle NVE. So, we have to substitute the value for angle NIE, which is 10x minus 4. And the value for angle NVE is 7x plus 2 degree. So, we have here adding of similar terms. So, 10x minus 7x is equals to 3x and minus negative 4 plus 2 is equals to 6. So to cancel out 3, we have to divide both sides by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is equals to x and 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. So therefore, angle in IE is equals to the value for angle in IE is 10 x minus 4 degrees. So since we have the value already for the value for x, so we have to substitute 10 times 2 is equal to 20 minus 4 is equal to 16 degree. Therefore, angle NIE is 16 degree. Theorem number 3. If an inscribed angle intercepts a diameter or semicircle, then the angle is a right angle. Example, if angle, if arc PEA is a semicircle and line PA is a diameter, then measure of the angle ACP is equal to 90 degree. Example, find the value for X. Solution, measure of the angle HIT is equal to 90 degree. So the measure for the Angle HIT is 
6x. So we have to substitute. So we have here the solution 6x degree minus or equals 90 degrees. So to cancel out 6, we have to divide both sides by 6. So 60, 6x divided by 6 is equal to x. 90 divided by 6 is equal to 15 degrees. So our value for for the measure, our value for x is 15 degree. So theorem number 4. If a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. Example, a quadrilateral LPMO is inscribed in circle N, then angle MOL plus Angle LPM is equal to 180 degree and angle PMO plus angle OLP is equal to 180 degree. Example, find the value of angle NTF. So solutions, angle FON plus angle NTF is equal to 180 degree. So the value for angle NTF is 5Y degree and angle FON is equals to 3Y plus 12 equals 180 degree. So adding similar terms, 5Y plus 3Y is equals to 8Y and 180 minus 12 is equals to 168. To divide both, to cancel out 8, we have to divide both sides by 8. So 8 divided by divide, 8 is equals to y and 168 divided by 8 is equals to 21. Thus, since we have the value already for y, we have to substitute the y to the equation of angle NTF. The equation of angle NTF is 5y. So, 5 times 21 is equal to 105 degrees. So the value for angle NTF is equal to 105 degrees. So we have here the assessment. Match column A to column B. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. Use the given figures as your reference and answer the questions that follows. So we have here the column A, the figure for each item, and column B. Example, number one, find the angle, the, find the measure of the angle TMH. So we have here the angle TMH. So what, so angle TMH. So since the inscribed angle and its arc is congruence. So since arc TH is 78 degree, so our measure for the ins for the central inscribed angle is 78 degree. So answer for number one is letter B. So that's all for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and watch my videos. This is Teacher Morris, and everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Thank you everyone! See you in my next video.